Right, we've got a 62 plate transit, the old Ford, 22 diesel. Done a clutch and gearbox replacement because the gearbox main bearing had gone. And we're also doing a clutch uh, master replacement. And that's what this is about. I'm going to replace this bit. Um, I will show you why and how they're not too bad to re replace these. So here's the new one. Um, as you can see, you've got a clip there. Pipe. Um, here's the old one. The reason we're repair replacing this is because if you look at this hole, it's no longer round. And what happens when you go to accelerate out of a junction, you need to let go of the clutch pedal, and this stops the clutch from touching the clutch switch, which stops the engine from running properly because it stays in like a, a weird shunt mode, uh, which basically picks the revs up and holds the revs up and then limits the throttle as well. Um, so you'll find that if you have a problem with um, acceleration or pulling out of junctions or just feeling like it hasn't got much power, um, put your foot under the clutch and just lift the pedal back up. If the pedal's got a notch at the top and a bit where it's sort of dink, I'd imagine you've worn out the end here and it's just not popping back properly. So let's just go through and show you how to remove them and replace them. So in the car, <clears throat> you remove this plastic trim panel here and then you come under here and it sits up on that plate okay there's a hole there you can see which is where the pipe goes through and then there's another hole up here it's yeah where the pipe comes through for the uh, feed from the master cylinder so I'll show you the end of here right, so you see that is the end of the shaft there on there there is that clip Ooh, focus that clip just pop it off with a screwdriver and you can get the master cylinder off and then you have these two bolts two of those which come through from this side a bit of a wiggle because you have to get that back bolt yeah. I can't even get it Stay. Ah. so there's the back bolt up there on that plate touches the bolts touches one of the bolts for the um, throttle pedal uh, not throttle pedal, what is that? Oh, uh, brake pedal. Yeah, it... But, as long as you don't use a ratchet spanner, you can use a ratchet spanner to get it so far out, and then you have to take the spanner off while you still can, and if you just unthread it by hand or with a open end, so you don't trap the spanner, then you can just get it out past that nut up there. That nut, just up there, to the left of that rubber, um, that one there is the one that gets in the way of the very back bolt. That's all it is, is these two bolts in here. You get those out and it just un and it basically slides up and then out. Um, now you've got those two bolts in there, the clip, and then under the engine bay is quite simple. You come to this side, you've got the hose that connects onto this barb here. It comes up through the hole, so you take that off. And then you've got another hole down there, which you can just see there, which you've got this pipe on. That pipe there just pushes into, and you literally just reach through with an angled pick, pull that up, and then unplumb it. And then it's just a reverse to fit it. Um, obviously, need that on the new pipe because that's the grommet that goes around the hole stops water getting in um, and that's it yeah so it's it's quite a simple job it can all be done from up top there's no crawling around on the floor um, obviously if you're going to do this um, I would say uh, so the clutch bleed 
um, screw. It's not really a bleed valve like you normal. Um, in fact, I've got one on the side here because there's one spare out the other box. It's this. This is the arrangement that's sat on top of the gearbox on this particular model. Now, there are different variations for different boxes. For instance, this box is out of an older five speed um, and it's actually got this arrangement here, which has got the same sort of square or rectangular drive on it. So you just get a spanner on there and you rotate that round and that bleeds it because that sits down in the box like that. Now that is quite hidden. Um, it's basically underneath that diesel pump. Um, down there. Um, there it is, you can just see it. There it is. Yeah, you can just reach down there with a spanner, crack it open. Um, now, I'd crack that open and let your fluid drain out. Because if you let your fluid drain out first, then you won't fill the interior of the van up with brake fluid. Because if you fill the interior of the van up with brake fluid, you're going to be really annoyed because you'll be rolling around in it the entire time you're fitting it. Um, so yeah, I'd just let that open that up, let the fluid flow out. Or you can, I mean to help, you can just get a syringe and suck all the um, brake fluid out the top here. Um, no, you won't have to re-bleed your brakes. Um, the feed for the clutch is higher than the feed for the brakes. So it will just be the clutch that you'll have to bleed. Um, yeah, there you go. Quite simple, straightforward, not too complicated. Um, and yeah, so like I say, if you've got a lot of play at the top there and it's wallowed out like that, you're not going to be touching the clutch switch properly, which could be causing you drivability problems. So, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.